and one free website really give me access to all the top AI models. Today I'm putting lmarina.ai to the test and I'll compare the results side by side. All right, here we go. This is the website. You can reach it at lmarina.ai and then the website will look like this. And you can already see all the different icons from the AI models. You got the prompt box right here. You can upload images, you can do a web search and you can generate images, which is of course the most important part for us. And they already state on this icon right here that your prompts may be shared publicly to support AI research. So on the top left, you got different modes right here. You get the battle mode. You can do a battle between two anonymous models. You can do a side-by-side -side generation. And this mode compares two models of your choice side-by-side. And you can do a direct chat, chat with one model at a time, just like you're used to with ChatGPT, for example. Now let's generate some t-shirts. But before we do that, we need a prompt, of course. So let's head over our flying research. So here we are in flying research and let's just click on the bestsellers tab right here and let's sort them by BSR. So we get the recent bestsellers. Now let's see, these seem quite popular. Okay, then we got these t-shirts right here. Yeah, don't do that because that's against Amazon's policies. Let's see right here. Let's choose a design that includes a phrase and a graphic. Okay, let's pick this one. Bra, I'm a pirate. So to download this design, we just click on this icon right here. And now we use ChatGPT to convert this image into a prompt. So we just upload this image right here. And then I add this prompt. Give me the prompt of this image so that it can be used in an AIR generator. The background needs to be dark gray instead of black. So we just upload this image right here with the prompt and ChatGPT does its magic. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna copy this prompt and then we head over to LM Arena. So here we are in battle mode. Yeah, let's first test the battle mode. So we just paste in the prompt right here in this prompt box. And then we also click on generate images because that's what we want. Let's briefly check out the prompt. Okay, it says a bold vintage style t-shirt graphic featuring a menacing pirate skull and so on and so on. Gives us some details about the graphic. Then we get the phrase, bro, I'm a pirate. And it specifically says where to position this, pro this phrase. Now it says the background is solid dark gray instead of black. Okay, this part doesn't make any sense instead of black. Just gonna remove that, okay. Okay, and then we just hit generate. And here we go, we got assistant A and assistant B on the left and on the right. So it surely looks like a battle mode. And we got the timer right here. So let's just let it generate. It's taking quite long. Okay, here we go. Yeah, on assistant A, and we don't get the model right here. Let's first check out the graphics. I must admit the design is quite good, but unfortunately we get this design on a mock-up, so we can't use the design. That's unfortunate. And on the right, we get this round design right here, and it looks quite nice. We get the dark gray background, which is very important, but for my taste, the phrase is a bit too small right here on the bottom. And we got these color splashes on the down left and at the top right. This would mean we had to manually remove them and we really don't want to do that. So in this case, I wouldn't use any of these graphics. Let's see if you can see the model. Now this one says retry, download, retry, download. Are there any options? No, not really. If we click that, no, it enlarges the image. No, we can't really see the model. That's unfortunate. So let's just gonna click both are bad, okay. Oh, here we go. We got the model right here. So you have to make a decision and then you get the model. So the left one was Recraft V3. And on the right, we got the Gwen model. Gwen image prompt extended. I think that's the this Chinese AI. But I'm quite surprised about this result. Okay, now let's copy this prompt. And let's check out the side-by-side -side mode. Side-by-side. -side. Let's click it right here. Okay, then you can choose your model right here on the top. And when you click the model, you can see that you get a very big selection of image models. That's amazing. So we got Gemini 2.5, that's Nano Banana. You got Imogen 4.0, then you got Flux 1, which is also a great model for t-shirts. Sea Dream, I don't even know that. Imogen 3.0, Recraft. We got that in the battle mode. Photon, I don't even know that. Then you got Dali from ChatGPT. Then you got Lucid, I don't know, Lucid. GPT Image 1, okay, it seems to be from ChatGPT. Flux 1 Context Pro. Well, as far as I remember, Context is for consistent characters, but I guess you can also use this for regular prompts. Then you got the Imogen model, Gemini 2.0, Seed Dream. 
Then we got Iduchrom V3 Quality. C Dream again. Quen Yun Yuan. What's that? Yun Yuan. Okay. C Dream 4. So you got really a big selection right here. And then of course on the right you got the same models. So we already got Recraft. Let's pick the Flux 1 model. Let's pick this Flux 1 Context Pro model. And for the second model, let's pick, yeah, let's pick Ideogram V3 quality and let's use the same prompt. So let's just paste it in right here and click this, this button and it runs. And here we go, Flux 1 Pro, I'm a pirate, bruh. Okay, it looks quite good, but as you can see, the, the bones are missing right here. These are cut off. And then we got the Ideogram design right here on the right and yeah, this looks way different. So this could be a good design from Flux 1 if there wouldn't be this mistake with the bones. And also if you take a look at the background, it would be very hard to remove the background because it's very detailed. You can see the difference right here in the Ideogram version. So we specified the dark gray background, which makes it really, really easy to remove the background because we got a clear distinction between the background and the graphic and the phrase because the graphic has this thick black outline, but the phrase also has this big thick outline. And what I also noticed is that we get this 4x5 format, so this tall rectangle shape in the Idogram version. Although we didn't specify it in the prompt, you probably would need to specify this in a prompt because we can't set it in the prompt box, just like in Idogram, where you can do all the settings in the Idogram mask. So Idogram is the clear winner right here. And to download this design, you can just click on this icon right here that says download. So let's copy this prompt again and paste it right here and choose some other models. So what do we have? I really don't know what Seed Dream is. Seed Dream 4 fell. Let's pick that and let's choose. So we got the grand model already. Let's pick this Yuan Yuan. I don't really know what that is. Must be Chinese. So let's just run it. And here we go. Now the side by side mode is really interesting. Okay, something went wrong. Okay, then we got the Seed Dream. Oh, it's taken quite long. So let's have a drink. And here we go. Yeah, which one is better? Please write down in the comments. Now this box is in the way. Let's just choose left is better. Okay, now we can see it completely. Now I really like this design. It's got the graphic in the middle. The phrase is big and easy to read and it's a bit distressed. So it fits the style of the design. But as you can see, the background is not solid dark gray. Although the prompt says it, background is solid dark gray. Actually, let's test if Pixel Cut can handle this. Let's download it right here and let's just upload it in Pixel Cut. Here we go. Yeah, perfect, nice. So Pixel Cut can handle this. And as you can see with this dark black outline, just like the result in Ideogram, this design works perfectly on every color, basically. And when you got this design on a black background, you can't see the outlines anymore, but that's not a problem. This dark red would also work really good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you could easily use this design. So that C Dream 4 fell. I didn't even know this model. So let's keep that in mind. Now let's paste this prompt again. I mean copy it. And let's paste it right here. And let's choose some other models. So let's pick Imogen 4.0. It seems to be from Google. And let's pick, what do we have right here? What's Photon? Don't know what that is. Okay, let's run it right here. And here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's quite nice. Bro, I'm a pirate. And we got the results on the right. Bro, I'm a pirate. I hate this box right here. But for my taste, I would say the design on the left is better. So let's pick this. Now we can see the designs completely. Yeah, on the left, we got a big and easy to read letters. So that's quite nice. We got the skull right here. And in the design, this is even part of the background. So that's quite nice. And on the right, we got the design. Bro, I'm a pirate. It's spelled correctly, but I don't really like the graphic. There's something off about it. And also these words are too small for my taste. I don't really like the composition of this design. All right, so that's the side by side mode. Let's copy the prompt again and let's go to the top right here. Let's click side by side and choose direct chat. Now here we go. Now you're just using one image model and you can paste in a prompt right here and choose your model right here. Let's choose lucid origin. What's that? Okay. And hit generate and it's running. All right. 
Bro, I'm a pirate. Okay, you got big letters. And these are in this distressed style. The graphic is also in this style. Then we got the dark gray background, which is unfortunately not really solid. But after all, this design is quite good, I would say. But it could be a bit hard to remove the background because of this style right here on the font. But let's just download it and test it. So here we go, pixel cut, drag and drop. And here we go. Yeah, so I didn't expect that. As you can see, the background was properly removed from the phrase, but it had a hard time removing the background from this part right here and also from this part. That's because the background wasn't really in a solid dark gray. Let's see this design on black. Yeah, I wouldn't sell this. Looks weird. And also these parts of the graphic are also dark gray. Yeah, I wouldn't use this graphic. So that's the direct chat mode. Yeah, you basically just choose one image model. But if you would use this platform to generate t-shirts, I would really just use the side by side model right here or the side by side mode. And then I would choose, what do we have right here? Yeah, nano banana is quite strong. And of course, ideogram. Here we go, I do cram. Now let's just run it again. Image, and here we go. And let's see who's the winner right here. Yeah, here we go, Nano Banana and Ideogram. So who's the winner right here? Now I must say the Nano Banana result looks quite nice, but I don't really know why it didn't use the whole canvas right here. It's quite small. On the other hand, we got the ideogram result right here, which gives us a really, really clean result with this solid dark gray background, which is perfect. And the graphic has a thick black outline and also the phrase has a thick black outline. So that's basically perfect. Now ideogram is still the winner. So I choose this and let's just put this in pixel cut. I want to see if it can handle it. So let's hit download right here. Then we are here in pixel cut and then you just drag and drop your image over this image, click replace. And here we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's got a hard time removing the background here. And you get a tiny little spot left right here. But other than that, Pixel Cut did an amazing job. So let's just choose the black background. And yeah, you can see this would work on a black background. Yeah, but this part is unfortunate. So maybe it would have worked if the design was just bigger, but I don't really know why Nano Banana made it so small. So let's go back to LM Arena. So as you can see, this is really an amazing platform. I just use all these different kinds of AI models for free. In my first test, I generated some images and then I quickly ran into a limit where I had to sign in with my Google account, but then I could just continue using it for free, like you just saw. And I couldn't really see if there's a limit or something like that. Now, of course, there's a big question right here. Can you use these images commercially? So let's check out the terms and conditions. So here we have the terms and conditions of LM Arena. And let's just check. Um, yeah, I don't really want to read all this. <laughs> let's just use ChatGPT. So what we do is we just copy all this stuff and we go to ChatGPT. So when you have something like this, just use a very simple prompt. I use this prompt. Can I use the images commercially that I generated on this platform? Here are their terms of use. And then we just gonna paste the terms right here and you get all the text right here. So that ChatGPT has something to work with. And then you just click this button right here and let it run. And it's thinking for a longer answer. It's analyzing. Yeah, I must admit it's quite a bit of text. Yeah, but take your time, ChatGPT. All right, thought for 26 seconds. Short answer, not automatically. From the terms, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, if you still don't want to read all this, just ask it, so yes or no? Question mark. And it thinking, no, not by default. You can use them commercially only if the specific model used on LM Marina allows commercial use in its own terms. Okay, if that model's terms say non-commercial, then it's a no. Okay, that means you have to check the terms of every model that you use. And of course you can do this check like I just showed you with ChatGPT. And you may check out the terms for the API because LM Marina is using the API of these image models. Okay, this is quite important for us. From the terms you pasted, you own your inputs and outputs, meaning your content, the company doesn't claim ownership of them. But your use of the service is limited to personal or internal business use. And LM Marina says additional license requirements may apply to the third-party AI models. You must review and comply with those model-specific terms. Okay, that's what it stated right here. So I know the terms of Ideogram. And when you use Ideogram, you own the rights to the designs that you generated. So you would now check out the terms for the other AI platforms. 
that you would use for your t-shirt designs. And if you got some concerns regarding privacy, I would just use the image model on its own platform. Want to see a really cool ChatGPT5 and IDOGRAM hack? Then check out this video right here.